Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Action Jackson, man. And in today's video, you guys already know, I'm going to be bringing you guys my post-game reactions after the Dallas Cowboys um, are right currently right now blowing out the Indianapolis Colts. It's 40 to 19. There's about nine minutes and 46 seconds left in the game. Uh, our extra point just got blocked, but this game is over unless some catastrophic happens, which it won't. It's the fourth quarter with nine minutes left. So, yeah, man, just hopping straight into it. Uh, I would appreciate before I go into it that if you guys would like the video, subscribe. If you're new, comment your thoughts on the video. Share my video with anyone you think might enjoy my content, man. And, yeah, man. So, starting it off on offense, man. Uh, we were efficient today. Uh, we only threw the ball 30 times for right now, like I said, in the fourth quarter. Uh, Dak Prescott threw the ball. You know, he threw the ball 30 times, completed 20 of his passes. Uh, he has 170 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Uh, that one interception, he could have had two, but that one interception that he did throw, it was horrible. Uh, there's no excuses for that. But I understand why he threw it. He thought, uh, of course, we were going to you know, get a pass interference call, which we didn't. So it's fine. There's nothing to really, you know, get mad or too upset about that one but that was a bad ball uh no you know by no means necessary was that a bad ball so you know right now you know we ran the ball effectively tonight like i said i knew we were going to be able to run the ball because when i read off you got to you guys last night about uh, the team that I ran on them like you know right now we ran for a total of 163 yards so we ran on them more than what Philadelphia did, and we we ran on them just nine yards less than what the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers has done. You know, the game is not over right now, so, you know, still there's still some time to go. We can easily surpass the Steelers and what we did on running the ball against them. But I knew we were going to be able to run the ball on the Colts, and that wasn't an issue with my game. In this game for me, the issue for me, what I had in this game was my nitpick is starting out in your games. When the Cowboys, like I said, I don't know, it's, it's always been a tendency, no matter what coaching uh, staff we have, uh, we always have a tendency to start out slow in games in general, but specifically when we come out of having um, an extra day's rest than what the seven days you only have between Sunday to Sunday when you play those Thanksgivings and then you have a 10-day uh, rest period to now play against the Colts you're tired um you know I mean you're not tired but you feel fully rested and you come out you play sloppy same thing we came out and we played sloppy against the um Giants because four days after you know we demolished the Vikings uh you know we started out slow against the Giants so and we even started out slow against that Green Bay uh you know when we're coming out of the bye week. So I just think f that we need to come out and um, be more efficient. But then another thing I felt like, honestly, is we need to start running the ball a lot more because that's our identity. Like I said, no way Dak Prescott should have thrown the ball 30 times today. Uh, he did. It's fine. There's nothing really too mad to, to harp on. But I felt like we need to run this ball more. Like I said, we are a running football team. This isn't, you know, this isn't a team – you know, that, you know, we're going to throw the ball 40 times like last year. Hey, I'm watching it right now. Hey, this is a coming out party. I'm done with the offense for right now. They did what they were supposed to do. I'm proud of them. Defense came up with another another interception. This is his second interception this year. That's De'Ron Bland. I'm really proud of him. He got two picks today in this game. Definitely player of the game, in my opinion. Should get the game ball. Uh, he got two picks. He just caught one right now. Over 16, that's when I got the double move on Diggs. And uh, Duran also got another uh, pick later on. So now, now right now, talking about corners, uh, sad news. Um, they carded Anthony Brown to the locker room this, uh, you know, early in the, you know, in the second half. Um, I don't know what it is, what's going on right now, but, you know, we've, we've been having some injuries right now. Like, for instance, like I said, we had one against the 
you know, CJ Goodwin went down. He's fine. He was able to walk off on his own. But with Anthony Brown, he didn't have a great game today. He did get mossed on again for the second straight week in a row. One on Thanksgiving and then one today. Uh, right now, with the cow, you know, what's probably going to happen. Hopefully, it's nothing too, too bad. But if you've been carted to the locker room, that's what had happened with Jordan Lewis. So I'm praying that it's nothing too bad and he's able to come back uh, come playoff time. But I believe right now your corner is moving forward is, of course, going to be Diggs. And then you're going to have Deron Bland. And then you're going to have uh, Kelvin Joseph. Those are going to be your three corners moving forward. Um, of course, um, I won't be surprised if Dallas even makes a position switch and puts in uh, Israel Mukwamu in, uh, in corner as well. I could definitely see that happening. Normally, he's playing safety. But he when we first got him in the seventh round, he was a corner. Then... Uh, he, he played that 2021 season at corner. Then we transitioned him at safety. Um, you know, he is a tall, lengthy corner. He's 6'4". So who knows? He might just be that Tariq Woolen for us down the line. Because like I said, now since we have injuries in the cornerback room, that this is when other guys are going to step up. Um, so, I mean... That's it for when I'm talking about the corners. Another person that balled out today and I was really, really proud of was Damone Clark. Damone Clark is the reason uh, he got that strip sack on, not not strip sack, but strip fumble on uh, Mo Alley. That Damone did, that was a really, really nice play. Then it was a, soup, a scoop and score by uh, Malik Hooker, another guy who played really, really well today. And I, I soon presumed that he would because, you know, this was against his former team and uh, he had two interceptions and a touchdown. I mean, my bad. He had an interception. He had a fumble recovery and a touchdown. So he had a hat trick today. Uh, he did really, really well today. Uh, Malik Hooker's best game as a Cowboy statistically. So, yeah, man. Um, <laughs> that's about it, man, for the video, man. Uh, next week, we play the Houston Texans. If you want to call it battle for Texas, you can. I don't really, I don't really care, but... Uh, that's definitely a team that you need to pounce on early, uh, like how everyone else has been doing. And uh, that's another team that can run the ball decently as well since they had Damian Pierce and all those other backs. So that was about it for the video, man. Um, had a really fun time dropping, you know, multiple videos in one day. I, I should definitely keep doing it, especially since I'm not in school for about another month. So, yeah, man, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay blessed. If you made it this far, again, I would appreciate if you guys would like the video, subscribe if you're new, comment your thoughts on the video, and of course, share my video. See ya. Bye.